Greetings to everyone. Today, me, Farish Ilhan, and my friend, Amin Alif, will be talking about an extreme sport skydiving. Before we start, I have a few questions for you guys. About 3 to 5% of the human population have acrophobia or fear of heights. Here's a question to all of you. Do you have an acrophobia? If yes, have you ever thought about overcoming your fear of the height? If so, then you can start off by going to a skydiving place. There's two types of skydiving. One is indoor skydiving and there's outdoor skydiving. Indoor skydiving is basically a massive fan that will blow air until you float. And then you will practice to glide. Watch this short video about indoor skydiving. This cold concrete If you somehow fell down while in the chamber, there will be a trampoline that will catch you and minimize the fall. Once you are ready to move on to the next level, you will be going to the outdoor one. These are the most famous places to outdoor skydiving in Malaysia. Here are the rules for skydiving. Safety is everyone's responsibility. Don't get too complacent. Review your emergency procedure before every jump. Get a gear check before every jump. Always approach the plane from the rear. 200 jumps are required before jumping with a camera such as GoPro or similar type action camera. In the aircraft, number one is seatbelt and helmet must be worn. Number two, the aircraft door must stay closed. Number three, on red light, open the door and check for traffic. Number four, on green light, climb out and exit if say to do so. Number five, know the exit separation time between group and count it off. Number six, do not exit if the green light is not on. And last, number seven, listen for the pilot instruction. For the necessary equipment, number one is main parachute. Number two, reserve parachute. Number three, helmet. Number four, harness. Number five, googles. Number six, one piece suit. Number 7, boot. And number 8 is ultimate. For the history part, skydiving has come a long way from the beginning of parachuting, which dates all the way back to 10th century China. The activity we know today is more closely related to what a man named Jacques Garnerin became famous for in late 18th century. French Garnerin jump from a balloon with a parachute for show. Its popularity. In 2018, there were an estimated 3.3 .3 million jumps. This is 200,000 fewer jumps than 2015, which is the year with the most jumps so far since 2000. Around 315,000 people complete this jump each year. The USPA has around 35,000 member who frequently makes jumps. Okay, now it is time for a fun fact. Did you know that on 7th of February 2018, a famous YouTuber, Logan Paul, almost died in an accident where the main parachute isn't opening? Watch this short video and then I will explain more into it. As you can see from the clip, his main parachute didn't open because it was tangled but lucky for him, his reserve parachute or backup parachute works. If not then he will be dead falling from that height. Lastly, I would like to thank for those who are willing to watch our video and I hope you all 
can enjoy this video and that's it see you guys in the next video bye bye and assalamualaikum thank you so much